good going to happen. I really believe that. There's something very good going to happen. We have to get back. So think of it. In this horrible period, this horrible, dark period where this this monster came and, and uh, worked its horrible, horrible spell over the world, 184 countries as of this morning, 184 countries. Something good going to happen. I really believe that there's something very good going to happen. We have to get back. So think of it in this horrible period, this horrible, dark period where this this monster came and, and uh, worked its horrible, horrible spell over the world, 184 countries. Period. This horrible, dark period where this, this monster came and, and uh, worked its horrible, horrible spell over the world. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. I just want to start where um, the Vice President left off. I come out of the services um, army. Um, when you, we always talk about honoring the fallen, and I think for every American, what we can do now to honor the fallen that have fall, fallen and given them really their deaths to this, this horrible disease, to the healthcare workers that are on the front lines trying to save every single one, to honor them, and to honor our elders and the individuals that we know are at the greatest risk um, for bad outcomes. We all need to continue to do our work. Yes, the number of cases have stabilizing or is stabilizing, but I do want to go through those numbers with you because we talk about these as micro epidemics in metro areas and in rural areas. So in the New York metro area, which includes obviously northern New Jersey, Connecticut, and Rhode Island, there are still 11,000 new cases per day, and their positivity rate on their testing is still in the 40% plus range. So there's still a significant amount of disease there, and everyone needs to continue to follow the guidelines. Um, New Orleans metro area, 800 new cases per day, but a seropositivity rate on their testing of 28%. Detroit metro area, 1,400 cases per day, 26% positivity. Chicago, 1,200 cases per day, and 18%. Boston, 18% positivity, 1,100 cases per day. Denver has fallen to 180 cases today, per day, but still has 15% zero positivity in their testing. California and Washington have stayed stable at about um, Seattle, 350 cases per day. On the LA metro area, 800 cases per day. But their test positive rates are remaining in the 9% range. And so this really gives us some idea of what it takes. They have been continuously mitigating. Imagine what we're talking about, New York going from 40 plus percent zero positivity and 11,000 cases a day down to the LA metro area of 800 cases per day and 9%. So this is what, when the president talks about reaching the top and coming down, those are the kinds of things we need to see. And the percent. So this is what, when the president talks about reaching the top and coming down, those are the kinds of things we need to see. And the only way we will see them is if every American continues to follow the guidance. It's going to happen. We have to get back. So think of it in this horrible period, this horrible, dark period where this, this monster came and, and uh, worked its horrible, horrible spell over the world, 184 countries as of this morning, 184 countries. Something good going to happen. I really believe that there's something very good going to happen. We have to get back. So think of it in this horrible, period, this horrible, dark period where this, this monster came and, and uh, worked its horrible, horrible spell over the world, 184 countries, period, this horrible, dark period where this, this monster came and, and 
worked its horrible, horrible spell over the world. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. Now, just to follow up and underscore what Dr. Burks has said, as I've said many times from this podium, the, the spectrum of going from infection to getting ill, to requiring hospitalization, to intensive care, to death. And what is the most striking thing that obviously is so sobering to us is when we see the number of deaths. We know now for sure that the mitigation that we have been doing is having a positive effect, but you don't see it until weeks later. Remember this past weekend when we all of us got up in front of this podium and mentioned that this was gonna be a really bad week at the same time, we were saying that we would hope we would start to see a little bit of a change in the daily hospitalizations, intensive care, and intubations. And New York is starting to see that. So I say that, but I drop back a bit. Don't get complacent about that. Because what's going to happen two and a half weeks from now is really what's going to happen with regard to the people who are getting new infection. As Dr. Berg said, Everybody is almost certainly as susceptible as anybody else to getting infected. <laughs> Y'all gonna derail the train, bro. The train need to be derailed. They're trying to take over. This the this the railroad track behind all mill and Opelousas. Where are they going with this? Either way, the train stopped, and now it's backing up. Backing up to do what? They might be able to unload all these tanks. And if you notice, the tracks got rubber on them. It's been brought to my attention, that's for driving on the road. For rolling on the street, y'all. Yep, see? Y'all still gonna argue that martial law ain't in effect? <laughs> yeah. Anybody know the definition of quarantine? Forced isolation. How you think they're gonna enforce isolation? About 400 tanks, that's what they're about to do. <laughs> yep, here comes the engines. Yep. Yep, bro. Prime documentation, right here, bro. Sunday, 1700 hours, 329, Opelousas, Louisiana. This is what we got, bro. About 400 tanks rolling in the town. Maybe 100, I don't know. I don't know, a bunch. Peace, y'all. Maybe we, we have don't to know. get back. So bunch. think of it, in this horrible period, this horrible, dark period where this this monster came and, and uh, worked its horrible, horrible spell over the world, 184 countries as of this morning. 184 countries, something good going to happen. I really believe that there's something very good going to happen. We have to get back. So think of it in this horrible period, this horrible, dark period where this, this monster came and, and uh, worked its horrible, horrible spell over the world, 184 countries. Period. This horrible, dark period where this this monster came and and uh, worked its horrible, horrible spell over the world.